Is there a believer here tonight? In the name of Jesus. This is what we have come to receive in this final service. I'm preparing your heart to know that one of the systems allocated for rising in this kingdom is impartation. Sometimes you may be weak in yourself to rise, but there is an operation of the spirit that can lift you. Ezekiel chapter 2. Please give us verse 1 and 2 as we prepare to pray. Ezekiel, it starts with an instruction asking the person to rise. Verse 1, Ezekiel 2 and verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand up upon your feet and I will speak to you. But the man could not stand. If he could, he would not be on the ground. He needed an ability to lift him up. Here it comes, verse 2. And the spirit entered me when he spake. So the word was like a container. Like you buy apple drink and it's inside a container. You don't need the container. The container is only a conveyor. The words carry the spirit. And the spirit entered me. And the spirit set me. Carried me. Carried your business. Carried your destiny. The spirit did not suggest it's an energy like you enter a lift and just press a button and no matter your skill there is unfruitful that lift will lift you until the predefined place so you can stand somewhere and begin to rise as though levitating by the spirit into realms and dimensions that others will say no no this is unfair and you tell them no it is not by might it is not by power it is by my spirit, saith the Lord. How shall these things be? Mary said, seeing that I know not a man. And he said, the power of the highest will overshadow man to you. The power of the highest. Leave the rest for the Holy Ghost when he comes. Yours is to get his presence there. For when he comes, my brothers and my sisters, he will turn every wilderness. Do you not know that he's a master over darkness? Every time there is darkness, he's invited. Genesis chapter 1, the Bible tells us, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2 says, now the earth was dark, void, formless, formless. The Hebrew word tohu bohu, a, a picture of darkness and confusion. And then the Bible says, and the spirit of God hovered round the face of the waters. And then creation started. The same way he's hovering around you. He, do you know what he's doing? He's searching what area of your life does not look like the Christ. That's what happens. He will go to your finances and say, no, that's all right. He comes here and says, no, 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 I'm going back. What did I see here? It's not yet a reflection of the Christ. Until your life becomes an expression of the beauty and the glory of God. Do you not know that God is not only glorified through us, he wants to be glorified in us. Galatians 1.29 And they glorified God in me. John, John, John chapter 15 and verse 8 says, Hearing is our Father glorified. Not just when you come to church that you bear much fruit. God is passionate about results through you, not through him. Through you. It is your bearing fruit that gives him glory. Hearing is our Father glorified when you bear much fruit. Let me give you one scripture to release your faith on as we pray. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 6. Powerful scripture is a scripture that, that for me is, is a revelation that God gave me. Ready? Please read. One, two, read. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful. Uh -huh. And I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee. I will make you. Listen. It's already a wonder to make you fruitful. But when you are exceedingly fruitful, that is another dimension. That the blessed call you blessed. That the anointed call you anointed. That those who have experienced speed look at your life and say, I covet the grace that God has put for speed. When the great call you great, you are really great. It's true. It's true. 